Let me take just a second and show you something kind of interesting here. We've been talking about modifying and using PowerPoint templates as some content and things, and this is from the LaVideo set of slides. It's for a photographer, and it has just some really kind of neat effects and stuff like that. This particular slide, for example, let me zoom in just a touch. What you'll notice is that it looks like I'm displaying an image through the lens of a camera. And there are a couple of really nice elements here. And I talk about this in my little video tutorial. But there's a mask. So there's a couple of elements here that I like. There's a mask and there's this camera reticule looking thing. So basically what I did was I created a little swipe file and here it is. So here's the original file or the original slide and then I just kind of took the layers and broke them into pieces. Okay, so here's that mask and this has transparency so I'll show you a cool trick in a second. Here's the camera reticule and this is a way that I'm kind of leveraging the effects and things in PowerPoint in Camtasia. So let me switch over to Camtasia for a second and let me uh, collapse this and let me give you a little bit of a preview. Oh my gosh, I'm in Camtasia right now but this looks a little bit familiar, right? So all I did was I saved these out as PNG images. So now I have a mask. Okay, this is widescreen 1280 by 720 and I put it into my clip bin and I'll just show you a quick little demo of the effect that that kind of has. I'm going to move to the end here. Let's drop another picture. So this is just a piece of stock imagery. Right now, see what it looks like here. Looks like a picture, but when I drop this mask on top of it, see? It adds that nice little oh, blurred effect. It's called a mask. I like that. You yeah, like that? I really like that. Oh, wait. It gets better. On top of that, I'm going to drag this reticule image that I saved, and now I basically, I'll need to resize this guy a little bit. But I'll put him up like that and like that, center it. And now I have duplicated that effect in Camtasia. And I can do uh, you know some cool and interesting things. In fact, I group them together over here. And I added a little camera click sound effect right here. And this is called a glow transition. So if I let this roll, what's going to happen is when it moves from this picture to this picture, it's going to make the shutter clicking sound effect and you'll kind of see the effect, right? So <laughs> it's, uh, it's really just one of those ways that you can leverage. So now I've grouped these together, the sound effect the image and the mask and the reticule into a group and I can add this to my library and if I want to you know put a string of these together or use this kind of effect to show a picture all I have to do is drop it from my library onto the timeline and then I can go ahead and swap out the picture okay how about that very nice so you can actually, to a degree, do the same kinds of things in Camtasia uh, and just make it readily available inside a Camtasia project as opposed to you know, going into PowerPoint and, and exporting it or recording the slideshow and stuff like that. These are little just tips and workarounds that help your workflow uh, get kind of going.